In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet these really cute uh, starfish dish cloths. This is not my pattern. This is a uh, Red Heart Yarns pattern. It was its pattern uh, number LC2272. It's an intermediate um, um, skill level, so it's not a beginning theme, but hopefully uh, you can follow me along. These, um, this dish cloth was designed by Mary Ann Fritz and it measures about nine inches, you know. So this is, uh, this uh, can, you can use in two different color forms or other colors as well. I'm using the Cream de la Cream. It's from Red Heart from Coates and Clark. And this is uh, a little, you just need one of these packets for um, each, or, each one of these. Um, if you want to use the aqua, then you would use the aqua color. And then they both use the cream color here. And then this one is called Tear Rose. And it's really pretty. I really like the way it looks. And then your edges is done in the linen. So these are, but of course, there are other colors of Creme de la Creme. But these are just really pretty. I think they'll look really good on any kind of um, decor. So you could choose your colors. So to get started, of course, you will need your yarn your H hook, uh, which is a five millimeter. You're gonna need some scissors. I use two different, two stitch markers and then of course your yarn needle to sew in all your ends. If you wanna follow along, please go ahead and go to redheart.com uh, and you could download the pattern and it's the star, uh, starfish dish cloth. To begin our uh, dish cloth, we're gonna start with first the cream color and there's a few stitches that uh, may not be fi uh, fami uh, you may not be familiar with. So here, if you look at your pattern, we're gonna have a few uh, decreasing stitches that maybe you haven't used before, but we're gonna work through them. Of course, the DC two TOG means to uh, double crochet two together, and those are worked over two stitches. Um, and then this double crochet three together are worked over three stitches. And then the one that you usually don't really use very often is double crochet five together. So I'll go through all those and then I'll show you how we work those. So here to begin then with the color A, here our little instructions give you which color A. Um, for the color B, it's, you're either gonna choose aqua or tea rose or um, if you have other color choices in the cream de creme, you could do that. And then our last color C is the linen. So here to begin, you're gonna begin with the cream color and you're going to chain five. We're going to slip stitch to form the uh, into the first chain to form a ring. Okay, so here, what I like about these two is that they have um, a pull from the center, which makes it easier to use them. So here, I'm just going to begin and I'm going to do five chains. So here, just a slip loop and then one, two, three, four, and five. Once we do the five, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form our ring just like that okay okay so then our round one if you follow along it tells us to chain nine and then we're going to um, go ahead and do that so it's easier if you work your patterns when you're reading them if you do them in the group instructions so first you would do chain nine so do that first and then you do your next instruction here and then that way you don't get lost. So here for the first set of instruction, it tells us to chain nine. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let me get some more yarn, eight, and nine. Now if you read the pattern, the next instruction tells us to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. This loop does not count as a chain, so here's one, two. So in the second chain, I'm gonna put in my yarn, my hook with that yarning over, I'll have two loops there, and then that's going to be the first single crochet, okay? And so then now here, it tells us to half double crochet in the next chain, so I'm gonna yarn over, go into the next chain, pull out my hook, now there'll be three loops on the hook, I'm gonna pull through all three, so that's the half double crochet. And now here it tells us now to double crochet in the next six chains, okay? So here we're gonna yarn over and double crochet in each of the next um, six chains. So here you have three loops, go through the first two, then the second two, and that completes your first double crochet. I'm gonna do that for my next five chains here. The second one, The next chain. The 
five. Let me get that here. And the last chain here, six. Okay, once you do this, then it tells us now that we're going to, um, let me get here, I lost my face here, we're going to single crochet into the ring. Okay, so here inside the ring, you're going to go in there, pull out your yarn, two loops, and you single crochet. Now you're going to repeat the same instructions I just did here until you have five points like this. So you would do that four more times. So once again, you would start with your nine chains and then start doing your stitches along the chain and then single crochet in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Repeat the four uh, until I have four of these points. Remember, if you feel if the video is going too fast, there is a little gear icon. I think it's like down here somewhere on the end of the video. You could click on that and it allows you to sl either slow down the video or speed it up so you could go on your own speed. And remember, you could always stop the video and rewind it so that you can see the um, stitch again. Okay, so here I fastened off and I put my stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round there. And now here, um, in our pattern, it tells us to, um, with a B, which you could do either the aqua or the um, a tea rose color. I'm going to, um, I'm going to be using the aqua. So here it tells us to attach with a double, cro uh, in the fourth double crochet, pre uh, the previous uh, point, we're going to chain two. That's going to count as a double crochet. And then we're going to start doing these double crochet together. Here it tells us how we're to work the double crochet. And you can read those instructions as well. But we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do that here. We're going to be working along um, this side here and then on both sides of the point. So you're going to go on up here along the foundation chains. These are the foundation chains and then the regular uh, stitches there. So here um, you can either start with a slip loop or you can just attach uh, without it. So here I'm going to just go ahead and do a little slip loop. I always like to leave a tail because it's easier to sew it in. So here if I count from the end then it's one, two, and then here's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to be attaching here on the fourth chain of the double crochet and then it tells me to chain two to go up. Remember this, it tells us that the chain two counts as a stitch. So here's one, two, and then here we're going to do begin doing our decreases. So here, this is a five double crochet together. I'm going to put a stitch marker here just because at the next round, I need to know where that second chain is and sometimes it's hide. So, but this is not called for in the pattern. So here I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go into the next stitch, the double crochet, pull out. I'll have two loops there. I'm going to pull through the first two. There'll be two loops left. I'm going to go into my next stitch, double crochet. There's four loops now. I'm going to pull through the first two. Now I have three. This is the stitch marker where the uh, round started. So here, let me take this off because I'm going to be decreasing in that stitch as well. I'm going to yarn over, go here, pull out, and then go through the next two. So here now I have one, two, three, four. And then here, um, my next stitch uh, should be should be in this stitch here, but I don't like the way that looks when I get to the end. It kind of looks kind of separated. So I'm going to kind of um, adjust the pattern myself, but if you want to do it exactly like the pattern says, you can do that. So here I'm going to one, two, three, four. I'm going to have four there. So here I'm going to yarn over, go into the next stitch there. If I can actually, it's kind of hard to get into the foundation chains there. Decrease and then one more. Go in there and pull out through the second. So now here if you count this one, two, three, four, five, six, you should have six loops and I'm going to go through all of them and that's going to be my five double crochet together. So here I did skip that one little chain, but once I kind of join this here, it seems to close up really nice versus having a really big open space at the end. So here now it tells us, so I know that it is different than what it's saying on the pattern, but I like to, I just did adjust that. But um, so here now the pattern says to double crochet in the next four foundation stitches. So here's one. And sometimes it's kind of hard to get them in that little foundation chain. 
two, three, and four. Now we need to skip the next stitch, the next chain, which is right here. And then I'm going to go into my first um, stitch, which is the single crochet. I'm going to yarn over, go here, and that's going to be my point. You're going to do three double crochets, three chains, and three double crochets into that same stitch, which is that single crochet. So here now I'm going to have three chains, one, two, three, and then I'm going to go back in here chain three do excuse me three double crochets after my third chain two and three now in our instructions so here you're going to see what the point looks like there is kind of that skip chain just give you an opening there then this is the tip of the point of the starfish now our instructions tell us to skip the next half double crochet stitch which is this and then we need to do a single uh, crochet uh, excuse me, a double crochet in our next four. One, two, three, and four. And now here, you're going to repeat what we did here with our five double crochets together. I'm going to do the five double crochets together one more time, but the rest you can go ahead and do on your own. So here you yarn over, go into your next stitch, there'll be three loops, pull through the next two, yarn over, go into the next double crochet, pull through for the first two, now you have three, yarn over into that single crochet, pull out, now you have one, two, three, four. I did skip this one here because I wanted to have a smaller opening at the end. Then I went in here, pulled out one more time, and then the second one. So now we have five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, that we turned into one, and there's six loops. You pull through all of them, and that is your five double crochets together. So now here, repeat what I did here. Go ahead and go into your next four stitches, skip this next stitch, then do your point at here in the single crochet. So you're going to do the chain, uh, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets, skip the next half double crochet and then continue repeating until you have all your points. When you come to the last point here, you will only have three double crochets instead of the four. So three, one, two, and three. Then we'll come back and we'll work on the round number three. Okay, so now here we're going to go on to our round um, three. And now in this round, we're gonna be working in the back loops only. Now remember I told you that that second chain counts as a stitch and I put the stitch marker there, it's easier to find. So here, once we start our next round here, we're gonna begin by doing three um, uh, double crochets together. This is gonna be the first stitch, one, two, and then three. So here, you're gonna get um, your yarn here. Let me move the stitch marker. So here I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go into that second chain, that's going to be my first stitch. I'll have three loops, I'm going to pull through the first two, okay? And now I'm going to do that again on the next stitch, two, and the next, so it's three. So when you count here, you should have uh, four loops on your hook, one, two, three, four and you're going to pull through all of those. So now this is what that stitch is going to look like. You close that there. Excuse me. Let me go back here. I just blew that. I forgot to do these other two in the back loop. I guess I should edit that out, but let me try again. The chain is only one, so that's not a problem. Then this one, I'm going to do it in the back loop only. And then the third one. Sorry guys, so now I have my four. I'll pull those out. Maybe I'll just leave it that way. <laughs> People know that I make mistakes too. So now here, after we do that, we're going to do a double crochet in the next five stitches. So here's one, only in the back loop. Two. Three. Four, and now 
five, only the back loop. So now we're coming here. So this is what we have so far, and you could see the little ridge there from the back loop there. And this is the first stitch there. Okay, this is the first stitch of the round, so let me go there. So then here now, it tells us to go ahead in our next chain three space. It's telling us to do the three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets in this space. So here I'm going to go ahead and do one two and three chain three one two three do three double crochets again for that point one two and three so now our point is done right here at the tip there and now after I do that point it is asking me to uh, skip the next stitch and I'm going to double crochet in the next five. So the back loop only. And I don't know how many times I pulled it out because I keep forgetting to do the back loop only. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. And now here, we're going to repeat what we did here on our, on our next four points. So once again here, then you will repeat the three double crochets together. One, two, three, back loop only, and then do the same thing we did in all the other ones over here. Okay, here I finished that round. So now here on this next round, in round number four, we're going to work in both loops. So it's not just the, the back loop here. So here is where my round begins. Let me take that stitch marker out. So here we begin this round with doing two double crochets together. So these are the next two. You're going to yarn over, go in your next stitch. You'll have three loops, pull through two. That's two there. And then go in the stitch after that, right here. Do another decrease. There you go. And now here we're going to do a double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So now we've come here to the top and now once again in the center we're going to do our little uh, corner which is three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets in that chain three space. I apologize if you hear some noise in the background. My neighbors are having some kind of construction in their home and it seems like every time I start filming somebody starts working. So here we go again, now three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so I did my point there, and now I'm going to skip the next stitch, and I'm going to double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And then after you do that, you're going to repeat what we just did on this stitch by doing your two double crochets together, and then repeat that sequence pattern for every single point all the way around. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and change color to our linen, and then we're just going to have our um, edging around the stitches. So, okay, I finished my round and I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. So I'm going to cut my yarn there, just pull it out. Now I'm going to change for our edging. We're going to be using um, the linen color. Okay, so here now I'm going to go ahead and um, join the linen color, which is a C color for the edging. And it asks us to join in with a single crochet in any chain one space. So I'm going to go ahead and get this here. Bring my yarn out. And I'm going to do one little chain there so I can go ahead and do my single crochet. And then I'm going to do two more. So one, two, and three. And now here it asks us to go ahead and do um, a single crochet in each of the next nine chains. Let me get some more yarn here. And then we're going to do our, our uh, three double, uh, three single crochets together in the center point. So here, 
then it asks us to do one single crochet in each of the nine. So here's one, two, and nine. Okay, now after we do nine, it asks us to do um, double, three double crochets together here in the center. So I'm going to yarn over, go in the first one, one, the next one, two, and three. So here's four loops on the hook there. And now here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Um, single crochet in the next uh, three here in the next nine single crochets one two we're gonna single crochet nine and then here we're gonna go ahead and do three single crochets in the next chain stitch the chain three stitch here one two and three and so here we've done completed our pattern there and you're going to repeat what we did here nine single crochets in each one of these nine single crochets and then in the center three we're going to do three double crochets together and you're going to keep repeating that for every single point until all your points are worked here okay here I'm coming to the end of the round so here I've already done my nine single crochets so here I'm going to do uh, the decrease here over this, this, and this stitch. So I can move, remove the stitch marker there. So even though this is um, higher, then you're, you're still going to do your three double crochets. So here I'm going to yarn over the three double crochets together. Pull in, do through the first two, go in my next stitch, go through the next two, and the third one. Now I have four loops there. And close that off and then I finished finished doing all my single crochets see and it all takes shape all the way to the end okay so now here for the last row of our edging for round two of the edging it tells well here we need to slip stitch into the first stitch single crochet here so we can close that off now it tells us here to chain one and then we're going to work one single crochet uh, backwards and I guess a lot of people would call this a crap stitch so here uh, instead of going single crochet to the left like we never normally do we're going to go in backwards so then here I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in the next stitch before pull that up single crochet let me get a little bit closer so you can see that so here now you go into the stitch before pull out your yarn, there's two loops, single crochet. Go to the next one, go in there, pull out your yarn, single crochet. And it starts kind of making um, what is called, I guess some people call it a crap stitch, but it kind of looks like a little rope. You can see, can see that there. So this is just a normal single crochet and this is the backward one. So you're just gonna get your stitch and go all the way till you get right here just like that and you're going to be working that all the way all the way back around all your points so here work it all the way around every single point when we get to the end then you're going to go ahead and then we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join and then you can go ahead and cut your yarn fasten off sewing all your tails and you will be done okay you've gone all the way around and now you could see the difference here it looks like that little, almost like a rope. I guess it's called a crab stitch. It's a backward single crochet. And you could see the difference between that and just a regular single crochet edge. And now here, you're just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. It's kind of strange because you're going backwards. Slip stitch there. Cut your yarn. And now you're done. And all you need to do now is sew in all your tails. Your um, dishcloth is done.
If you don't like uh, that edge, you could also just leave it uh, plain like this. Just do two rows of single crochet around. Um, but I really like the way it came out. They're super cute. You can make a bunch of them, do them for gifts, and the cotton is really soft. I think it's uh, softer than um, some other ones you find. But I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that little bell so you're notified whenever um, I put up a new video. Uh, and remember, if you want to follow along or print this out, you can just go to redheart.com, print out your, L uh, your pattern LC. 2272 keep it for your records and I think these would make a really great housewarming gift and these are the kind of things that also are really great for um, uh, people who sell items in little craft fairs have a great day and remember always that God loves you